For Heavenly Questions by Yertrud Schnackenberg. Throughout her career, Yertrud Schnackenberg has been widely admired for her elegant, inventive, and musically complex prosody, her emotional decorum, and her timeless frames of reference. Heavenly Questions is a book that has all of these qualities yet moves far beyond them. Its six long poems tell a story of epic scale, creating a world large enough to contain classical and Buddhist mythologies, a personal human drama of rare power, and the mathematics of physical existence, among many other things, while making them seem like entirely natural neighbors. This magic comes to us in a great upheaval of brilliant, prosodic, rule-breaking and reinvention. Describing these poems as blank verse, heavily enriched by rhyme, does not begin to describe the power of their formal realization. Reading this book is like reading the ocean. It swells and furrows, its secrets fleetingly revealed and then blown away in gusts of foam and spray or folded back into nothing but water. Heavenly Questions demands that we come face to face with matters of mortal importance, and it does so in a wildly original music that is passionate, transporting, and heart-rending. Fusi Turicula Lullaby A visit to the shores of lullabies so far from here, so very far away. A floor of sand, it doesn't matter where. And overhead, a water ceiling sways. A shell is summoned to materialize. The holy life, a spiral, hushed and pure, complete unto itself. A spiral shell is summoned from a substratum of wonder. And all is well now. Hush now. Close your eyes. Around a primal, ragged nucleus, accumulated layers crystallize. An embryonic seashell pulls itself through being portals intricately placed in seas of non-existence, caught, self-caught in nets of pasts and futures, synchronized in present nows, the many and the one. It doesn't matter, really, how it's done, the how of it, the why. It doesn't know how atoms in the ancient paradox can pass from unseen particles to seen, or why a chain of atoms interlocks and manifests in blurry pink and green. It doesn't matter really where it's from. Descended from an ancient nacre dream, self-fabricating through genetic codes, without an archetype to utilize, as if the wondrous deed it summoned to were all that ever mattered. Seam by seam, volutions from a nacre nucleus of violet iridescence, being whorl with everything in play, and all in play, and all is well now. Hush now, close your eyes. A shell appears, fusi Turicula, and uses its inherited clairvoyance to plot a logarithmic spiral round an axis of rotation evermore and evermore forevermore unseen through pre-existing numbers, one, two, three, and shyly browsing algae as it ponders angular momentum, symmetry, successively self-generating curves, projecting helixes, the axis fixed, then tilting on its axis, torsion tilt, compulsion and desire 
mixed with toil. An overhanging cusp becomes a spire by pushing up and forward on the coil. Irregularly oscillating whorls are flaring out in ruffled calcium, pure rhythmia, slow motion suturings with no one there to sew them, perforate the apex boring through, a water vent, inhalant and exhalant. Knotted threads are pulled to fasten equidistant nodes along a helix rim, a clockwise twist and twirling stripes through interrupted bands are darkly lit through brilliant whites and creams like lightning bolts in violet-tinted brown that zigzag in slow motion down and down from node to node to node. A lightning dream descending ridge by ridge. Sensation fizz. Salt water circulating past and through the ruffled aperture. Existence is a taste of ocean water on a tongue. And then Fusi Tericula, intent on browsing, sets in motion moving veils of sands that long ago and far away were magma rocks with twisted veins of ore from which the sand was ground. And empty shells, like lightning-stricken spires, surface fused with used up bolts of lightning, lie around. Nacreous, in almost silence, hushed among the lulling engines of the sea. But hush now, close your eyes now, all is well. Underwater ink enlarges, blurs in violet brown across a spiral shell. A record of volutions fills a scroll with wondrous deeds and great accomplishings. A record of a summons not refused. Of logarithms visible and fused with thoughts in rows of spiral beaded cords as X goes to infinity, impearled, violet and inviolate, self-endowed, itself the writing and itself the scroll the writing's written on and self-aware with never ever to be verbalized awareness of awareness of awareness, instantiation, all in play, a sole immaculate example of itself. And in the aperture, the remnants of a heavenly question lightly brushed across with opalescent ore of consciousness. The universe is where? Is hanging where? <clears throat> and overhead, a water ceiling sways, and all is done in play. In heaven above, the ceiling of the sea is drawing streams of shining answers through its question sieves. Is matter the enchanted lathe, or mind? But which one spirals from the other's blade? And all the waves at the beginning end of all that comes and goes and takes and gives and all in play. And all that dies and lives materializes, dematerializes. Five and four and three and two and one. And all is brought to being, all effaced. And all that could be done has now been done. And all is well. And hush now, never mind. A self-engulfing spiral, ridge by ridge, that disappears in waves that come and go, and all that could be done is done. And seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and disappearing far away enraptured to the end, and all in play, a spiral slowly turns itself in heaven. <clears throat>